boards and committees. Um, this is just wordsmithing that sentence a little bit um, to make it clear that it's the that you adopted this fourth five year plan that in June 2024, assuming that you will. Um, okay, and for funds, this chart has been updated to match the percentages you provided to me, um, along with the number of projects. Um, this has been swapped. The mobile <coughs> map are now in active recreation, and the Sandy Meadow Interpretive Program are now in open space and passive recreation on the list. Uh, and I have I have one thing that uh, Joanna Buffington sent in some comments, and one of them had to do with the, that we needed a dot point for uh, under the open space and passive recreation, the second to the last 100 coal road purchase. That's a separate. Oh, you've got one there. Okay, you put it there. Thanks. Yep. 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 I probably caught it as I was going yep, through. Yep, yep, yeah. It was. It was sent off. It was sent to you. Thank you. Okay. Um, here we were also referring to your strategic plan as a background document. Um, here we're just adding in an emphasis. You know that community engagement is con continuing. And this is um, this got deleted. This um, little yellow mm -hmm. um, section because it was you, removed. Yep. It was removed. Yes. Right. Yep. Yes. That was removed. Okay. A lot of CPCs in here. This also got swapped out because we updated this um, application review funding process with your wordsmithing. We can review that um, later because uh, I have it in the PDF as well. Um, just added, made sure that the ongoing community engagement and education language that we have in the executive summary is also here in the main introduction doc chapter. Um, and this, for target allocations, we were just, there was like this sentence here that's in red was originally under undesignated funds and we just moved it up where it belongs under the minimum spending reserves. Okay. Um, trying to remember why all of this was red. I think it's just copy pasting stuff to make sure everything is matching. Um, the beginning for the core um, or the guiding principles. Because I think there was some language, especially around leveraging and things that wanted to make sure matched. All right, so community housing. So this was a question, there was a question about whether or not you are, are losing population and losing younger residents and so forth. So I just, I, I double checked and I did find that language. And so I just did it as a quote um, so that it's very clear that that's a quote from your housing production plan. Thank you. And this was updated to say village at Nosset Green. Mm -hmm. um, what it was, Campbell, yeah, Purcell. Um, we added in fiscal year 23 into the chart, um, just to be very clear that this is just for this latest year and that will, you know, update every year. Community Preservation Committee. Okay, Historic Preservation. Ah, so we clarified goal four, because there was um, a discussion around preserving historic structures um, where there's an opportunity to create low and moderate income housing. And so we, I just added some language that says, as a dual community housing and historic project and um, added some language that it would require an affordable housing deed restriction. Okay. 
and wherever they're um, so local historic um, commission I, I think that's just words from smithing from local historic preservation commission um, okay chugging along oh this is just me adding a space and capitalizing things that need to be capitalized and then I double checked some of these as you remember there's a question around uh, there was one number of historic resources that was less than the number of buildings um, so I went in and double checked what macro said um, and filtered everything through and got the right number in there so 143 of which 129 are, are buildings um, and then up yeah and I think this is basically this the same um, not quite sure why that's on there but just double checked I guess all right and then all the maps were swapped out it doesn't show up here um, but all the maps were created to be black and white and once we scroll through the red line I'm happy to kind of throw up the clean version too just so we can look at the maps um, Okay, updating the year of the open space plan, which was 2015, at least that's what it said. Um, adding that it's just nuances here to the stats. So more than 22% um, and roughly this, I updated this number 0 0.63 from 0 0.69. And then we've got just a double checking a little bit of these stats and just wordsmithing a little bit around open space. Uh, Laura, I, uh, there was something that uh, Joanna Buffington sent in, in in the first paragraph under needs, goals, and possibilities where you've got, um, I think it's, let me see, one second sentence where you have there is an evergreen need. You have the word Evergreen is one, one word. She asked that to be corrected. There it is. There, there. That needs to be corrected. Evergreen. Yeah. Meaning, what two spaces? Well, well you have, you have. There is an, and then one word. Evergreen need. Mm -hmm. That, that. Yeah. She asked that that be changed. Separated. You mean? I'm sorry. Is separated. It, it, yeah. Two words. Two words. Two words. I would just want to make sure I have jo Joanna's um, comments. Was those were those sent to Stacy? Were those the ones you sent to me yes. pretty yeah, recently? Yeah, yes. yes. Okay. Yep. I have I have them. I haven't incorporated in them in yet. I wanted. To, I was kind of. I'm still collecting them from um, what you say tonight as well. So I I will definitely get get to those. But I will just highlight it for now and just make sure it's yeah. Because I just received that this this um, couple days ago, and I haven't gotten to I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. All right. So we updated the Chapter sixty one land parcels from the twenty twenty four assessors data. That. Um, was sent to me. Where are, where are we? Sorry, we're on page 43, 43. under chapter 61, oh. temporary protection. We updated the chapter 61 language to reflect the new yep. parcels. Actually, this was this has been updated too because it's not for. It's um, that's actually incorrect in the red line, but it, that's been updated again, just in the clean version. Um, to be what because I I was looking this up and I was like that seems too low to me so I asked the town to pull it directly from their system and and they did so I got the right number I promise but it's in the it's in the clean version not in the red line all right so I, I you said that you haven't uh, uh, taken the uh, information that Joanna sent in as far as applying it to the plan so she had something for this page under the permanently protected open space so that's that's something that needs to be fixed okay um 
yeah, I haven't, like I said, if it's something I received just a couple days ago, I haven't, I haven't made any updates yet. I'll, I'll finalize the plan right, yeah. um, early next week. Once I, once we go through, if there's any other comments tonight, I've kind of wanted to collect them all and then do them all at once. Yep, yep. Thank you. Okay. Um, so likewise, this map was updated. We can look at the clean, the clean version that's black and white with larger labels. Um, and no parcel numbers, no buildings. It's a little lot more clean. Um, I'm just updating a little bit of the missions there. Okay, we've added in the Field of Dreams playground here. There's a picture. Updated, corrected this budget uh, number. And the map has been updated. And then we added just a little blurb here around area median income, or where to find it with the link. Make sure everything says local historical commission. Um, and that is that for the red line. Um, I will just show you the version here just so we can take a look at the maps okay. and then, bear with me I'm going to try to get down to scroll quickly down to get to the maps Oh, here, there, at least you can see this one as well. So this now says first Tuesday of September, um, September, October, last Wednesday, Wednesday in October, November to February, approximately. I just said date set annually, um, cause you wanted to kind of leave it more general or blank. Um, and then after town meeting. I have some comments on that, on this form. Mm -hmm. Which I, I sent in um, under step two. Mm -hmm. From my from my perspective, uh, those two dot points under step two should not be optional. I, I would like to have those that those words taken out of that. I don't know how other people feel. I think that's a good call. Yeah. Okay. And um, under step four. The third dot point, um, you have CPC votes to recommend slash not recommend funding. And I uh, have recommended that we add to that sentence and set conditions. Uh, we don't have anywhere in here where we're talking about the fact that we set the conditions for the, for the projects. So I, I added it to the third dot point. It, it could be someplace outside. I, I don't have a strong feeling, but that was what I uh, did. If anybody has any comments on that. If you're going to keep that, I would just add set conditions for, for grants. Uh, for contract. Grant agreement. I'm sorry? I would just add set and set conditions for grant agreement. For, for, for grant. Agreement. Grant agreement. Just so that. Yeah, so okay. We'll Conditions under which we work. Yeah, yeah. The room has to be 65 degrees for us. Right. Right. <laughs> and if we do that, should we change the time period from November to March? Because sometimes we do the conditions setting in March. I'm sorry, what did you say, Carolyn, for under step four? Right. If for we add the set contract con or grant conditions, mm -hmm. um, we should change it from November to March. Because sometimes we set mm -hmm. conditions in March. How do people feel about that? That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. So it would say November to March. To March. Okay. Laura, could you just go up to the step one? Step one. Yep, just one second. I'm going to add March. Okay. 
All right, step one. What, what are your thoughts? I just want to make sure that's the right time. You want to, can you read it? Want, want to see this? I'm not here. That sounds odd. The first Tuesday in September is the first two <laughs> microphones and I don't agree. The first Tuesday in September usually is the public hearing. Right? Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah. And we're doing the this year and maybe going forward we're gonna do the second Wednesday so we can get the windmill, windmill, weekend, windmill weekend and get and, and stuff out to people. Right. Um, so I'm just not sure if the if the first Tuesday is is correct or should it be the first Wednesday? Well it does say pre application. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't say applications. Mm -hmm. Step first. one says pre application, so that would be appropriate for first okay. Tuesday, right? Well it's Wednesday though, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's, it should be Wednesday. Wednesday. It should be, it a should Wednesday. be Wednesday. Wednesday. Right. I, I, well, this, this isn't really tied to a meeting date. No. I think oh. just, as long as the pre-application is happening before the step September three. September meeting? Before step three. Right. And I, why uh, getting an agreement from the owner? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a requirement that if it's, you know, you need an agreement from the owner. You need to either own it yourself or the landowner or the property owner has to give the okay that, you know, the town or otherwise that that's okay. I mean, if sometimes if it's a town department or something, it's already kind of assumed and baked in that it's okay. But um, if it's a historic whatever bell in a church that you're, Restoring or something, you know, you need to. It it just sounds weird to me. I was like, okay, you know, we could do getting this. a buy-in from the you know the, the whoever controls the subject entity. You know, I'm just something or other. I, I think we weird. could get rid of first Tuesday of September and just put prior to prior to um, some middle of full application. Yeah. And then I think. The first sentence we could after coming up with an idea and getting any necessary approvals instead of agreement from the owner. Any necessary approvals from the the, enti owner the entities applicable. involved? I don't know. I what think what we're trying to get at is if you if you need to you do need to get the approval of the owner if you don't control mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you don't control the property yet right and but there may be other miscellaneous things you got to get the approval of your your nonprofit committee or whatever right. those, those are the kind of things you want to make sure you have in line mm -hmm. by the pre-application if it was a church submitting an application yeah the church or the directors of the should yeah. is this step one in writing What do you mean in writing? Well, I think sometimes they come in verbally and we put place. Oh, 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 you're, you're talking about whether the I'm, people that are. I, I'm beginning to think maybe what we should say is that the applicants should submit the first week of September, not on a particular date. And then the question is, is it in writing or is it verbal or is it both? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I we're talking about pre-application. Yeah, this, is yeah pre. this, this was. Yeah, I was thinking this was just like the informal getting information, checking with staff, mm -hmm. but we did talk about yeah. if you wanted to put a pre-application like, like placeholder. Right. Right. Like a placeholder. Right. right. And I think if they do, they should do it the first week in September. Right? That, that seems to be a, 
reasonable, you know, maybe they don't have all their documents in a row, but at least to come in and say, I want to yeah. think about applying or mm -hmm. not? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay. If, if we don't hold our public hearing, uh, public um, meeting about the application and the process, et cetera, et cetera, until the second week in September, yeah, then it we can't, make sense. Yeah, they, they can't need time to that. react to that if they attend and listen and take into consideration what we say in that meeting. So <clears throat> I, I almost think that the step one should be that the CPC committee holds a public meeting to, dis to talk about the application process, period. Well, that could beg the question, do we want to hold the public hearing in August? Because we get so jammed in here, do we want to have our informational public hearing in August and require submission of, it gets complicated. When in September do they have to file? And if you had your public hearing in August, the beginning of September, they would have to uh, file. I don't know, what does everybody think? Well, it might be tough, just people aren't focused. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Summer, summertime there. So. Right. And, and f filing it, I mean, they're sometimes throwing out an idea. Mm -hmm. You know, will this fly? Mm -hmm. So I, that, I don't see that as terrifically official. I, I would yeah. combine, and I don't think we need to wordsmith it, Laura, but combine what you have under one and two into number two and make one that in early September the CPC committee holds a public hearing about the uh, that process. year's funding process the and then combine those other all things all of those other things happen in September and October about the application and funding process right so step one two and three will be a schedule not a step one two and three it'll become just a, a step one which will be yeah, probably okay. project eligibility determination or something mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and then um, September to October in general then you can uh, have an option to you know talk with staff attend the public m meeting to learn more about the process maybe you know learning about the process the first is the first one having your public meeting and then you could optionally discuss that with staff and ask questions and so forth um, to talk through project eligibility. Um, and then also you're requesting support, you're, they're determining if it's eligible or not, and you're just preparing basically for a full application. So is it fair to say that the application will actually occur in October? Is that what we're trying to... Mm -hmm. arrive at the final the full application mm -hmm. yeah. that's yeah, it sounds have, like the only official date is yeah. the last one say in october yeah yeah, yeah. okay there should be time mm -hmm. okay okay all right oh, okay other? uh laura i have another comment on this page it's under step five mm -hmm. um where you've got you sort of are saying that one article, you say, one article to set aside the statutory minimum allocations and another article to fund specific recommended projects out of existing reserves or undesignated funds. And it's not another article. Every single project is an article of its own. And you sort of have here that we're doing two articles. One would be the statutory minimum and the other article would be the projects. And, and well, that's, I'm sorry, and, oh, and that, I was that's really not direction. how it's set up. Okay, so I was taking direction from your staff on that one, so I'm happy to word it however you think most appropriate. Is it that well, we, it's we not separate it motions? Well. Is it two Some articles with separate motions, or is it actually like separate articles for everything? There, we there's, do it as one article. Everything, I'm sorry? We do it as one. They're like article listed. H, and yeah, then yeah, and the then 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 the different uh, subsets. So I think that, I, from my perspective, this looks like it's two parts when it's. Well, it is. This it is. It's eight, eight, eight A, eight B, eight C. It was all one number, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Right, but it's in one article. If the one, way it's one article with sub with subsets. Right, but. 
if nobody has any problem with any of them or no comment, yeah, we would votes. vote. Have to we would vote on all of them. All of them. All it's only if someone wants to break out one particular article that we would vote on it separately. Right. And that would include the statutory reserves? No, that's its own. Is it, it's its own it, yeah. 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 We do I mean, I don't separately. even know that that level So of this is still incorrect, this. though, and it's the way it's, the way it's stated. Is. I think we just simplify. I don't even think we have to get into that. I just think right. it's, I would what's just important take, is that the, the articles are voted, are voted on. on at town meeting. Yeah, it, I would it take. May change, it may change at some point, too. Yeah, this. yeah. I okay. would just take the second bullet out. Okay. Any other changes on the timeline? No. Nope. I'm all set. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So let's just keep scrolling down just to take a quick peek at the maps. Down to maps. So we made, we took off the parcels and the buildings, we left the General streets there, but we made the labels a little bigger. We put in, you know, it's black and white. It's sort of, ha you know, kind of hash hatched. No. Um. They look better. Thank you. Right. Do you have, uh, Laura? Do you have the um, definitions in the back of the document for like what those are? Um, we do have definitions in the in the back. Um, yes, I'm trying to think if, but well, we can scroll to the back and just double check. We have national, like national register, and all right. So we have local historic district. I don't think we define national registry, national register di district, but we could certainly add that if you wanted. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be helpful. I think if, if you could add just like a locus box for the old mm -hmm. town center area. Just to indicate where the inset map goes. All right. Let me get back up to the. Oh, well, we'll go back to that. Sorry, I'm going to scroll up to the historic map again. There we go. Okay, so on the inset map. We just add like a locus box on the main map. Oh, right. To indicate where the inset is. Mm -hmm. Yep. The inset map, we could probably blow up. Sorry, I used to do maps every day. <laughs> <laughs> so you're an expert. No. <laughs> and make that a little bigger? Yeah, the inset map, we could probably blow up, like zoom in, just so you could see a little more detail. Ready? Any other comments on the historic map? No? All right. Well, zoom ahead to the open space maps. Is uh, Doan Rocks historic? I noticed. I don't know if Don, I don't know if Doan Rock is historic. It's in that area, and it's not. Mm -hmm. Shown, but it's historical, but is it a designated historic mm. landmark? Mm. Is it? I don't know. Well, there was a big know. article about it just recently. Don't sign, don't climb on the road. But I don't think we had all the seashore. I don't know. I am just saw it because I saw three sisters and I knew it's across the street, so that's the only reason I asked the question. Don't knock this across? It's not across the street. It's not across the street, no. is it? No. 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 Well, near it. Oh, it's, it's on the other end. On the other end, yeah, okay. I don't know. I, I don't know if it is historic, so. Oh, good question. It's old. Yeah. <laughs> Older than a lot Older of us. Older than just about everybody. Everything. Right. Okay, Stop. open space. We've got the sharpening rocks, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sharpening rocks. 
Yeah, so this is now the open space for a primary so purpose. There's the also the open now. space by access. Okay. Tried to make the labels a little bigger, simplified it, and trying to do it in black and white. So probably uh, the same comment show where the inset goes. Mm. Yeah, that's a little easier to see from the from the from the landmark here, but yes, I agree. That's that's a good practice. I think the uh, late. Sorry, I'm just gonna <laughs> have to put my cartography hat on. So yes. I think the labels. If you could make them like call out boxes, that point yeah. to the area. I don't think they need to be quite that big, but. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, mm -hmm. and I know we asked you to do this black and white, but I don't, maybe the um, recreation could be a different grayscale or something. It just, yeah, I, it's yeah, too blotchy. It, I agree. I, when I saw this in black and white, I was like, I actually think this is less clear than when it was in color, when you're really able yeah. to have more contrast. I don't know if I, brought this up for the last time we talked about the maps, but there is a, um, there is a um, grayscale thing that you can do. Primarily it's like the color blindness. Mm. That's why I was, that's why I was mm. recommending the, the black and white or the grayscale. Plus, you know, these things get photocopied in the right. color, but also just for <coughs> color blindness. There is an app that you can use and it will tell you like what the grayscale values are and, and, it'll, and it'll differentiate enough so like the darks will be dark enough to mm. differentiate. That might be helpful. Okay. Right, and this is the open space by access. And so probably similar comments here show the inset main map and probably look at those different symbology colors mm -hmm. or it's not as bad in this one but it would um, be good to have them all consistent mm -hmm. And then the last map is here. Good. Okay. All right. I think that's everything other than acronyms and definitions and we'll add the National Register District mm -hmm. in there. Okay. I will save this as my, my notes. Oh, I'm saving it in top shield. That's not going to help you. <laughs> I'll just save it in my desktop. All right. Okay, and then let's see. So, did we talk about, we have this, I think we already talked about, marked up, so I don't need to look at that. Um, here's the flow chart, um, and the only change to this one is just making sure we're referring, you know, to the historic commission. Um, Uh, I, I, Laura, I had a question on um, the, the, the oh, uh, now I see it actually is Community Preservation Act Committee too. Community Preservation. Oh, yep, still is. Uh, Laura, I had a question on the Community Preservation, um, the historic projects one. If that's oh, the one you, yeah, right. What, yeah. what do you, what do you consider a vessel? Ah, uh, okay. Um, you know, that's language right from the statute. So, um, I mean, a vessel, I think it possibly, 
I mean, it could be a, a vessel as in like a ship. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, well, they didn't they restore or some a building of that? structure. I, I, I don't. As a, a an artifact, like if you're a vessel like a vase, that, that would be an artifact. Yeah, it could be, you could. Because I think a vessel is something that holds something that could be. No, no. A boat. It's it's either a it's either a ship, yeah. or it's a a like a vase of you know to hold liquid or something. Um, and I think if it were a vase to hold liquid, then it's an artifact. So I think vessel is referring to a ship. Oh, okay. It's like a historic ship. Didn't they restore use CPA funds for that ship that was um, part of that? Rescue the yes. Coast Guard years ago. Yeah, the oh, Coast Guard the one yeah. on the bay side. G five zero zero. Yes. Yes. Ooh, that's specific. <laughs> Good for you. My daughter did a whole project. <laughs> <laughs> you know all about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks good. Okay. We'll just make that tweak here. I can't believe I forgot one of these spots. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on each of the pages. Yes. Yeah. Patient committee. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. Dang it. I caught them all. Okay. Um, all right. And otherwise, I don't think there's any changes to the rest of it. I don't. I don't have any other changes on those those four forms. Mm -hmm. This is save to my desktop and save this as my notes. Okay, so then we've got the appendices, um, and really, I think the only change is to this criteria checklist, um, where we start where we said you know the complete application is yes no, and the criteria scores are now optional. And then since there's only two of them, rather than the complete application, which is yes, no, so you can't have it as a, a weighted average anymore. I just did 75, 25, but that any of this could be is optional and could be adjusted however you want um, or not used at all, depending on how you're feeling. Um, and then we've got your rubric here and the eligibility matrix. And then we get into all of the community engagement results, you know. Um, I think I just, the only correct, I made some corrections here. I think there was, Carolyn had two ends or something and that got corrected. Um, otherwise, I don't think there's any changes to any of this um, appendices here. It just Laura, kind of goes on. Laura, on yeah. the um, appendix, the um, scorecard, can you um, expand the columns a little bit uh, for applicant so that the T is on, not on the second line. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the next one also. That's the way mine printed. Yeah. Actually, yeah. It printed correctly? Oh, there mine didn't print correctly. Mine printed portrait. Okay. Yep, no problem. And I see there's like a little yeah. bit of that here. Well, I think if you set it to print portrait, it prints correctly and all on one page. Yeah, I want to say it looked right on the Word document, but maybe not when I made it a PDF. Or, but I'll play around and make sure it yeah. looks right. Okay. Which and is probably the way we would use yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So then the only last thing to share is the Excel version of the rubric. And so this is really more of a, you know, internal working document that you can adapt. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's exactly the same as you saw in the appendix. It yeah, now says yes, no, and, and so forth. So, um, and then your rubric is here on this page, on this tab. So that's, yeah, that's that. Okay, so I will definitely look at Joanna's comments, um, and I have your markup from today so that we're able to hopefully finalize um, everything, the, the maps. Um, I will, if needed, I can set up another meeting um, 
just with staff maybe and and kind of look through the maps with them and and make sure that they think it's you know good to go I have, have one, I have one question in the regulations is there an appeal process if this committee determines that it's not eligible is there any resource available to the applicant to appeal our decision and do we have to state it someplace that's all I don't know if there is one I'm just asking the question if we turn down an application yeah does the applicant have anywhere to go to appeal our decision well I think you could reach out to the I don't know that there's an official appeal process but I think you could reach out to the community preservation coalition um, and you know consult with them but I think that that's something that your staff would do anyway if there was a bit of a tricky you know case on their hands um, but I, that's what I would do if I were an applicant that thought it was eligible and got rejected and didn't think it was right I would you know try to look for other projects in the database that match that description or reach out to the okay. community preservation coalition that's, that's pretty much what we've done in the past i mean when the the whole i think so the school house I guess, came up i guess what i'm asking is it does it have to be in writing anywhere do oh, yeah. yeah no that's all does it have to be in the report anywhere that mm -hmm. there's an I, appeal process i don't recall seeing anything ever I referring to that so <laughs> if it's not written down or something okay, it's not written and down. look even if a project is eligible you're not under an obligation to fund no, no, it no. We, yeah. we could we could decide not to proceed with it even as you right. say if it's eligible right okay so do we need a motion to approve this do, uh, do we uh, wait, you're going to you're, you're you're still looking at the the uh, comments that you've received from Joanna and and myself and any I, I guess that's it I uh, have some comments uh, Janet do you have a question should I should I send them to Laura yes yeah you could send them to Stacy and she could send them to Laura yeah um, yeah if you could send any additional things um, that you have if we haven't covered it tonight to Stacy um, and then she can forward them to me that would be helpful all right yeah. I will do that thank you just don't send them to all of us <laughs> as a as 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 a group okay for open meeting rules yeah. so, since we're not coming we're not planning another meeting until September mm -hmm. could we do a motion to approve with the edits, edits as discussed as presented and presented and including Janet etc I think we sort of have to I think I think we do too mm -hmm. So yeah, and then I'll have a debrief. You know, I'll, after these revisions get made, I'll I'll schedule another check-in with with staff and just go through things with them and make sure that you know they're happy with the maps and and just make sure I caught out all the changes. I think that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Do I do I um, have a motion to approve the five-year plan for fiscal year twenty twenty four is it 2021 25, 29. 2025 to 2029 so moved yep. second that's Dan and that's Eileen as as to be amended as as, as, as amended edited. is there any discussion uh, all in favor Yay. one two three four five six and Janet yes Janet a seven yes. is that seven Two, three, four, five, six.
you, you, you were you were listed twice, but um, yeah. twice. maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, do what? Go I ahead. I move the approval of the May first, twenty twenty four, meeting minutes as amended. Okay, that's Carolyn. Second. Dave. As amended. All in favor? Aye. One, two, three, four, Aye. five, six, seven, zero. And that's the minutes of May 1st, 2024. All righty. Uh, number item, uh, item number three, uh, I'm four rather, on the uh, agenda is elect officers for fiscal year 25. And as we were briefly discussing earlier, there are four members of the current committee whose terms are up uh, in 2024, 630, 2024. And I would like to recommend that we not elect uh, officers until um, we know for sure that those people are being reappointed. Uh, so we have the people that are actually on the committee making the decision. Um, does anybody have a problem with that? Can you read off the names of the four? Uh, yeah. Uh, the names of the four, uh, one is you, you Carolyn, uh, Dave Hobbs, uh, Mark Herman, and uh, Joanna Buffington, and me, and Dan. That's a lot of so people. That's five. Yeah, that's five people, right. Yeah. Not everybody, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. each of the Appointee. Housing Trust, Historic, and Planning Board at all of your next meetings the committees will need to they have, they have their verify, committees you know, appointed. assuming you all want to keep doing it, verify it, and then that will get sent to the select board and they'll yeah, officially yeah. vote. And then for Dan is at large, so large. that gets done just directly through the select board. Okay. So we'll make arrangements on the agendas and then we'll have um, Caleb put something on the next, on on the next that, select board yeah, agenda. Once we get everything squared away, okay. we'll do it, make sure it's done by September so that we'll be yeah. Ready to rock and roll. All righty. So we will be doing that in September at our next meeting. Um, number five on the agenda is the most recent financial reports, and Tina did send them out. Um, I don't know if anybody has any questions. Um, I'd just like to make a couple of comments. Number one. Obviously, uh, the uh, taxes were paid, the second half were paid in May, so uh, the tax collections have increased by about 355000 as a result of that. Um, investment income continues to increase uh, because of the uh, interest rates, which is, we're now up to almost 110000 uh, for this fiscal year. Um, nothing else, I've been looking it over, nothing else that I see has changed. Um, I think uh, Ed brought in the final paperwork for the Wiley Park Recreation Area for the 20250 but that was in May, so that will show up when yep. we have the uh, report yep. for May. So we're slowly getting uh, things cleaned up there. Um, is there. Are there any comments? Oh, on I the, just brought the I brought some copies on the financial documents that uh, Tina presented for the end of uh, April. No, no, no. Okay. Um, and I, some of you, I think I, I've given uh, the coalition all of your ad your emails. Did you get it, the information about the Department of Revenue and how they're expecting the tax um, matching funds to really be much reduced? this year because of the uh, lack of business going on with the Registry of Deeds. Um, so they're now projecting a 14.4% base match. Uh, so we'll, we have, uh, I think, taken into account when we did our work for this year, fiscal year, I think we used 20% um, for the uh, matching. But I think if we have an issue with that, with that number, that will be okay because of the increase in the uh, interest that we've earned. So I think we're we're all set with that. Um, I I would like to just bring one thing up, which was mentioned briefly at our last meeting, towards the end, and 
uh, Brewster has now um, passed a, um, a decision to reduce or not to apply the 3% surcharge to uh, some of the uh, low-income individuals in their town in order to help them with their financial situation. Um, I don't know whether, um, I, I think I heard that maybe our assessing folks are doing some work on trying to figure out what that might mean as far as loss of uh, how, how many people might be affected and what that amount would be. Obviously, if we're not charging certain people the 3% surcharge, it would also reduce the amount of monies that we would receive from the um, state for matching funds. Um, but it is a way to help people that are struggling uh, in town. And as I say, it was something that passed in Brewster. Um, and I, I just want to I'll just read what uh, Eileen did some some background check on, on the whole thing. And I won't um, read everything, but um, Oh, that last paragraph. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is the one that was on the warrant for Brewster for this fiscal year, just, just the last week, I believe. In May 2005, the town voted to accept Section 3 to 7 of Chapter 44B of the General Laws of Massachusetts, also known as the Community Preservation Act, and established a community preservation fund with a dedicated funding source. Fund monies may be spent on one, acquire, create, and preserve open space, which includes excuse me, land for park and recreational uses and the protection of public drinking water, well fields, aquifers, and recharge areas, wetlands, farmland, forest marshes, beaches, scenic areas, wildlife preserves, and other conservation areas. Two, rehabilitate and restore land for recreational use. Three, acquire, preserve, rehabilitate, and restore historic buildings and resources. Four, acquire, create, preserve, and support affordable housing. And five, rehabilitate and restore open space and affordable housing that was acquired or created with community, preservations, community preservation funds. This amendment will adopt the following exemption from the 3% annual surcharge for property owned and occupied as a domicile by a person who would qualify for low income housing or low or moderate income senior housing in the town as provided for in Section 3E1 of said Act. The exemption proposes, proposed by this amendment would commence in fiscal year 2025, which begins on July 1, 2024. Brewster Town Meeting voted to approve this exemption in November 2023. Local ballot approval is also required. Um, so I, I think if we were we were to do anything further on this, I think we need to get some idea from the assessing office to see what the uh, ramifications would be for our town. Um, and I just wanted to bring this up as a, um, an, a possible something that we should be looking into, finding out more information to get your thoughts on, on what, your, what your thoughts are on do, proceeding to look into the uh, issue further. I'm on the tax aid committee. I support this. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the total dollar amount that we will be down mm -hmm. annually is going to significantly adversely affect any of our ongoing projects. Uh, I just That's uh, me. Okay, I'll just read. This was uh, some more information on, on the uh, Brewster thing. According to town manager Peter Lombardi, the town typically collects about $1.25 million annually from the surcharge, and that's essentially, we're, we're at about a million or so on the surcharge uh, this year. As a result of exempting qualifying residents, the town will see a reduction in revenue of ten to 20000 per year. Yeah. That's what they've determined. Janet has a comment. Oh, okay. Janet? Uh, yes, we have said, I think, over and over that we're concerned about uh, enough affordable housing in East Ham. And this seems like a way to help people who need help. Mm -hmm. Ten or 20,000 to help someone stay in their home in East Ham 
is something that we want to encourage. And this is an excess tax. This is added on to their other taxes. Mm -hmm. So I would certainly be in favor of something like this. Thank you. Thank you. Any other thoughts or comments for or against? Agree. Is there anybody against looking into further information as to how it would, what the ramifications would be for East Ham? Okay, so I, I will, um, I'll, I guess I'll talk to Paul, talk to you and see what we should, how we should proceed or you have any thoughts? I think we we need. Well, I think it would be helpful to know how many people would be affected and what the ramifications would be. In other words, if we're not not charging them the three percent, what what would that amount be uh, for for East Ham? Mm -hmm. um, and and go from there. Okay, so. Maybe you and I can sit down and well, chat with uh, it, Rich. It may be a very daunting task to the assessor because the assessor doesn't necessarily know the income of a person on no, a particular piece of property. That's what I said. I think he, he, he talked to so I don't know how, how they would gather the data. Well, it's I going support to be an the application idea. process yeah. the yeah, way maybe it is for the tax aid or yeah. for you know, veterans' um, right. uh, subsidy. I agree. I just don't think the data is there. It has to be discovered. Well, no, the applicants. Are going to have to, right? You know, submit I agree. an application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you can't. It's <laughs> like for IRS returns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you have to think that the value of the properties that we're talking about are the lower are ends. the very yeah. lowest end. No, so I agree. We could that. do some pretty back of the envelope yeah. estimates. That no would problem. I agree with the more. concept. I just yeah. wonder if, it, if it's too burdensome to somebody. That's all. I've, mm -hmm. You know, and how they would do it. Oh. Okay, um, I'm going to go on to um, item number six of the agenda and summer outreach ideas. And we've discussed the windmill weekend, which uh, is September 6th. It's, I think that's uh, oh, September 7th. I'm sorry, that's a Saturday. And the last year when we used the um, posters that Stacy put together, and the town gave me a, a table and two chairs. Um, and so, are people in favor of doing, and you, you stop by, yeah, Carol, and stop I by. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a very good thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll have to um, make sure that the Windmill Weekend folk know that we want to be on their list of people. With Rachel Butler? No. I sent, I sent a request in for a table okay. with Katie, I don't know. Who, okay. I don't know who runs it, but no, I, I got it. If we're gonna have for trust, windmill weekend, we're yeah. Have a housing trust uh, table also. Right. We're just gonna yeah. coordinate so we can. Be nice to be side by side. Yeah. Now, last year you had a, a table and some chairs. Yeah. Yeah. No, the uh, tax aid committee had a ch table at the Hands on the Art, mm. which I think that should, we should have something there too. It's when basically is that? useless. Oh, where, really? Why? Just people sort of glanced at it and walked away. Oh, 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 <laughs> you know, oh, oh, oh. Like, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even want to know about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. So I, I made I made some um, brochures. Um, let me just take a look. Pass them around. And um, some. Postings. I'm going to ask Kayla to put on the um, on the town website and on um, social media. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and uh, if you guys have any ideas, now, would this be something that you recommending that this be something that we might pass out at at at, at the yeah. Uh, yeah. At the uh, now I won't call it a booth, but the table. The table, yeah. So. Oh, thank you. I have everything to you. Mm. So. 
No, you, would you like us to look it over and, and send in our comments? Yeah, or, I can, I can or, email you the, um, the full, um, sl all the slides. Oh, yeah, oh, oh the deck, okay. Uh, PDF deck. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, terrific. So our first meeting in September is going to be September 11th. Right. That's yes. what this is saying, because we're committing right. to the hearing. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Thank you. And we, as I, we discussed, we're doing that because that's um, windmill weekend After, is the weekend yeah. before. Makes sense. Very good. And thank you very much, Stacy. Yep. And we and you still have the posters. Yes. And you know, yep, we, we can use, we'll just use those again because they don't have dates, dates, or, yep. dates or years or anything like that on there. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you give these back? Uh, so um, I will sign myself up as I uh, was there last year for nine seven. It's just that Saturday, the Sunday is the parade, and they don't have the, all the booths and stuff like that. Um, so I put my name down for, for doing it. And if anybody else is interested, uh, I'll be at the trust. You, you'll be doing the housing thing. Yeah. I may be able to stop by again. Yeah, good. Okay. All righty. Um, let me see, is there any other business that anybody has that they would like to bring up at the moment? Do I have a motion to dismiss? So moved. Okay. Second. Mark? Yeah. All in favor of adjourning? September 11th. One, two. Uh, Carolyn, are you yes. in favor of adjourning? <laughs> well, no, so, uh, one, Seven. one last thing. Oh. Uh, so our next meeting will be September, which will be the public hearing. Mm -hmm. Will be what? Our next meeting will be September 11th, right. which we use as the, you know, oh, oh yes. to mm -hmm. kick everything off. Mm -hmm. So we'll have, you know, PowerPoint slideshow like we usually do. I just kind of keep in mind if anybody wants to, if there's content you want specific to your uh, area, right. just mm -hmm. let us know and we'll help that. Or if you just want to speak to content, mm -hmm. you know, just keep that in mind. Do you need any kind of formal motion to make it the public hearing? I mean, we just administratively say that's when it yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. We just got. Yeah. We have to advertise it as a public hearing a right. little bit differently. Put it in the newspaper and things just mm -hmm. officially. Um, so with this uh, closure on the plan. Um, I know we don't need to get approval from the select board. Uh, how is it presented to them, or is it not presented to them? What's the story on that? Um, no, I think it makes sense to present it to them. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's up to the committee if you want to have like a formal, uh, you know, an actual presentation, mm -hmm. or just provide it to them as information. Here's the final plan. It's up to. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? What, what have I, they done in the past? I don't we, know. We haven't submitted it to them for them to review and comment on it. No, and nor, no. nor, in my opinion, yeah. should we. No, well, I, don't, I agree no. with you there. I think it's just a matter of submitting it. Yeah. I think you just send I'd it give, to them. Give everybody a card or a copy. Or yeah. just yeah. A, you know. They're so familiar with the topic. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's something new. Right. And there isn't a lot of change mm -hmm. from the last one to this one. So I think just giving them a a copy and saying we're, we're pleased to present you with the approved plan put and it on the agenda for the uh, or, would it put it on the agenda or just send them send them a copy of it I would just send them a copy if they're interested and want to if they want info, to they'll let us know and say we'd like to set up put yeah. it put it on the agenda yeah. okay. okay no I don't think we say we want it on the agenda right. No, that's it. Let, so the, let, the them, the let them say it. Info, they'll let us know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. We don't, in my opinion, want to infer that we need nor do we solicit their no, approval. No, 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 no. That's all. No. <laughs> you know, Thank we're you the committee much. and this okay. is what we came okay. up with. All righty. So we're officially well, adjourned. Enjoy everybody's yes, summer. We are Thank you, everybody, for all Thank your you. work.